On January 11th, two prominent analysts on North Korea argue in their article on 38 North that Kim Jong-un is preparing for war. These two are former CIA analyst Robert L. Callen and nuclear scientist Siegfried S. Hacker, who has visited North Korea several times. They said, we believe that like his grandfather in 1950, Kim Jong-un has made a strategic decision to go to war. We do not know when or how Kim plans to pull the trigger, but the danger is already far beyond the routine warnings in Washington, Seoul, and Tokyo about Pyongyang's provocations. Recently, Kim said a war can break out at any time on the Korean Peninsula and ordered the military to prepare to pacify the entire territory of South Korea. On January 15th, Kim also announced to abandon the goal of unification with the South, which he labeled principal enemy. However, many analysts are skeptical of the war theory, saying Kim knows the consequence of the war, which is the end of his regime. But many agree that North Korea will continue to increase its provocation to affect South Korea's domestic politics and bolsters Kim's legitimacy in North Korea due to its economic crisis. Angie Panda, an analyst from the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace said, I'm much more concerned in general about a limited attack on South Korea. An attack of that sort would take aim at South Korean territory or military forces but be limited in scope. Will you join us in prayer for God's intervention in stopping North Korea's increased provocation against South Korea? Let's pray. Dear Lord, we ask for your supernatural intervention to thwart North Korea's ongoing provocation against South Korea. We pray that their efforts to interfere with South Korea's upcoming April election will crumble. Lord, we ask for your guidance and strength for the South Korean government in the face of North Korea's bullying tactics. May President Yoon Song yeol and his administration be filled with the spirit of boldness and courage to stand strong against the North Korean regime and protect South Korean society from manipulation and intimidation. For evil doors shall be cut off, but those who wait on the Lord they shall inherit the earth. Psalm chapter 37, verse 9. Lord, we believe in the power of your infallible word, which declares that the North Korean regime will be cut off by your mighty hand. Let us continue to wait for you and your promise with unwavering faith, knowing that we'll inherit a godly, united Korean peninsula for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you for your heart and time to pray for North Korea. Your prayer makes a difference in the lives of the North Korean people.